Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2008 Acura TSX. This one is just a fairly standard model, but this is also a super clean car inside and out. And for one of these with the miles this one has, it is barely broken in. So outside you can see this one's finished off in a very pretty gray exterior. Do you get your body colored mirrors with your turn signal indicators, pulls your body colored and chrome accented door handles. And I will apologize at the start of the video, this car was detailed this morning, and this is how much pollen it's already covered in. It's just kind of unavoidable at this time of the year. But on the driver's side, you can see this one does have your door edge guards installed right there. Like I said, turn signal indicators, and then up top your sunroof as well as your radio antenna. Fuel cap on the driver's side dual exhaust around the rear, and then your Acura as well as TSX badges. And coming up to this side, this one is riding on Bravo HP tires. They are 215 50R17s, so 17 inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes. Everything follows through on this side. Pulls up front, you have your projector headlights, fog lights down below, and your typical chrome Acura grille. Go ahead and get in. This one does include your typical older Acura key fob. Lock, unlock, and then press and hold, and it will pop the trunk, as well as press and hold for panic. Go ahead and get in this one. And this one does have the gray leather interior. You can see your Acura door sills and everything in here is also just in phenomenal condition. Go ahead and start it. All I have to do, insert the key. And just like that, you can hear that beautiful K-Series start up. Close the door, enter inside. This one does have a leather wrapped steering wheel. Nice and super tight hydraulic power steering. Just very typical old Honda. I love the way it feels. You can see on the wheel, nice bolsters up top as well as your perforated leather. You do have your audio system controls on the wheel, cruise control over here, some Bluetooth phone controls, and then different controls for your center display. Up top on the door, it's all padded material up here. You have some aluminum trim, padded perforated leather around here, and then a padded leather armrest. All of your windows are powered, driver's side is automatic. Power locks, and your power mirrors up here, which are heated. You can see over here, you do have your sunroof controls, VSA on and off, more the aluminum trim, and then the dashboard itself is all old. All typical old Honda materials. I mean, just high quality all the way around. In the middle, you can see your gauges. They're the very typical of the era electroluminescent set. You can see your engine temperature, tachometer, speedometer, and then your fuel gauge. As I said, 136K, this one is barely broken in. And like I said too, from down here, you can bring up all kinds of different info on the display, everything like that. Up top in the center, you do have your clock, as well as two air vents, and then your hazard controls right there. Below there, this one is equipped with the standard audio system, which still sounds fantastic. Simple to use, um, AM, FM, CD, auxiliary in, satellite radio, everything you'd expect, and it sounds fantastic. I mean, sounds great, very easy to use. You have your six CD changer right there below it, all of your preset stations and everything else. Below there, dual zone automatic climate control, zone for the passenger, zone for the driver, fan speed, all of your different modes and everything else. Below there, two storage compartments, which this is typical of these. The little catch for this one has broken, but I mean, honestly, if that's the worst thing that's happened in 140K in here, pretty good, but storage compartment there, and then another compartment below it, which does have storage and a power outlet. Right here, you have the shifter for the five-speed auto this one is equipped with. Manual mode, right there. All very nice and simple. And this is your typical old Acura Honda, just solid feeling shifter. Right here, your heated seat controls for the driver and passenger. They are two-stage high and low. Parking brake, and then two cup holders underneath of that cover. Back here, padded armrest storage inside of there with your chain storage. 
And then below there is your auxiliary in, as well as the power outlet. Seats are super comfortable, high quality leather. I mean, you can see how great they've held up. Same on the driver's side. For the mileage, the bolster looks great. And you do get the typical Acura perforated leather in the middle. Up top, sunglasses container right there. This was your interior lighting controls, garage home link, and everything else. Sunroof. And then visor with your vanity mirror built in is illuminated. And that will go to the side just like that. I mean, overall, I'm sure you can tell I'm a bit of a fanboy, but just a great place to be inside. Step out, pop the hood, pop the trunk, and then push to release the fuel cap. And typical, you have your valet mode right there where you can lock them. Fuel cap right there. Obviously, being the TSX, this one does require premium. Rear seat, everything follows through material quality-wise. Padded leather, all of that. And stepping in. I'm six foot two. The seat is further back than I would sit, but I can fit behind myself. You do have plastic backings on the seats to protect them. And your storage pockets down below. As you can see up front, everything follows through. Handles on the side, all of that. As well as in the center, two cup holders, padded armrest, everything else you'd expect. Your interior lighting controls up top. And then this is typical old Honda right here. This is actually the manual control for your sunroof. So say the sunroof was open and something did happen to fail, you can use a flathead screwdriver to turn this and actually manually open and close it. Otherwise, everything back here follows through very nice. I mean, this would just be a perfect first car, daily driver, people hauler, something like that. These little K-series engines just go forever. Inside the trunk, you can see everything is in great shape. You have your back seat releases up top. It is split folding. With your rear floor mats down below, then your spare tire, jack storage, and everything else. You can also see up top, this is all nice and lined. And then these do go in, down inside of these compartments so they won't crush your cargo. Back seat from this side, everything follows through. You have your child locks up top. And up front, power passenger seat. For sure. Puddle lamps down below. And inside of the glove box on this one, it does include all of your original owner's literature, your original wallet, everything like that. And as I said earlier, I think you really would have a hard time finding another first-gen TSX that is still this decent. Go ahead with the headlights as well as the fog lights on. And you can see up front projector, HID headlights, fog lights down below, and under the hood. This one is equipped with Acura's 2.4 liter four cylinder. This is the K Series K24 engine. You can see everything under here, great shape, running fantastic. I have owned uh, a car with a variant of this engine and no complaints at all. As you see here, factory strut brakes. We'll go ahead. Driver's side, automatic window back up. Cut it off right here. Move the key and cut the headlights off. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.